Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So you've probably seen me use my jointer sled before and this works with these Axminster clamps. So these clamps work in my bench, they work into my Festool track. So I've cut dovetails in here. Um, so I'll show you how it works. So what I have is a bit of 18mm MDF and I've got three slots cut in it. So I've got a bit of oak here with a rough edge, but it's flat. So these clamps slot in, lock down. And then you want to get the board so it overhangs the smallest amount you can get away with taking off either side. The fence now needs setting so it's the width of the jig. So what I do is I move the fence over until it's nice and snug there. And then what you do, I won't do it because you won't hear me at all, is you push the jig through and it cuts the edge off this board. You've got a nice, perfect, straight edge. Then you can unclamp it, flip the board round, passing the new straight edge against the fence without the jig, and you've got two parallel faces. So let's have a close-up of the clamp. So these aren't dovetail clamps. You can see the shape, but if I slide them into this dovetail, they do lock in. Um, now the problem with this jig is this is made out of 18 mil ply, 18 mil MDF, so you don't have much material left. And you can see it's actually broken there. And it broke like that about six months ago. And because you're running it along a flat surface, it didn't actually affect the performance. But I think it's time to make a new one. And I think probably what would be better is actually, I'm gonna use some ply, what would be even better is perhaps using two sheets of 12mm ply laminated together. Now, why I don't want to laminate two 18mm pliers together is the thicker you have the jig reduces the height of what you can pass through the saw. So if this had another 18mm ply, it wouldn't leave much blade left, which is fine for jointing thin boards, but I'd like to have the option of doing thicker ones. Um, and this is only an 8 inch blade. If you've got a 12 inch saw, it's probably less of a consideration. So I had a jointer sled in my old workshop and it used some of these toggle clamps. Um, the trouble with these is you can have it perfectly set up for say, what's that, about 12 mil thick board. But if you had a much bigger board, you've got to undo these and adjust them. Uh, you can get easier to adjust ones than this, but also you've got to mount them to the board in a certain position. So for this, you'd need it, say, there. But what if you had a much wider board? You'd have to move it back. It's, so they're not very good as these. You can have the board mounted all the way back there if it's much wider, all the way out there. Height can go from there. It's so quick and easy to do. So the one I made previously, I used the dovetail bit that came with my Axminster jig, but I'm gonna use one from this set. So it's a 12.7 wide by 11.8 um, tall I'm gonna use. And I think I have to do two passes, but we'll have a go and see how that works. So the bit of ply is longer and wider than the MDF I used before because I didn't determine the length of the MDF. This was just an off cut I had, I used, and this is an off cut, so I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. But if you have a specific need and think it needs to be a certain length or width, you can do that. So I need a straight edge to run the router along. So I'm just gonna clamp that in place, run the router along, and then keep that board in place as well. So the first groove is cut and it doesn't fit in. So what I'm gonna do 
to a pencil mark on there. Move that over a couple of mil. Clamp it back down and we can do another pass. Doing the two passes with the smaller bit worked much better than one pass with the bigger bit. So I'm going to move this down and I think I'll do the same again, one in the centre and one at that end and then if you're jointing long boards you can just have a clamp at either end, shorter boards you can go for middle and one of the end ones. Right, let's see if we can joint a board with it. So the first thing we'll do, I push it against the blade, move the fence over until it kisses, lock it down. Now we'll get our board put on in place. Find the slots that are gonna work best with it. Right, so we've got it hanging over about a millimeter there, locked down, about a millimeter there, Lockdown. So there we go, We've got a nice jointed board. So I think the fly is going to be a lot stronger and better than the MDF. The one problem I would say is because of the nature of a dovetail cutter, you can't do several passes, it, that wouldn't work. So you've got to just go for the depth straight away. Now this is some birch ply and it struggled in this. In the MDF it did it no problem. In this it really struggled and um, I don't know if it's because it's a cheap bit and it's a few years old, but maybe um, this is not the best material. But the principle works, so I hope this was helpful to some of you. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.